My name is Dr Richard Davis, I'm Clinical Chair of Redditshire Bromsgrove Clinical Commissioning Group and a GP in Aswood Bank, the Ridgeway Surgery, which is a surgery on the south end of Redditch in Worcestershire. Um, all clinical commissioning groups are constantly looking at activity uh, and benchmarking it. We undertook this at the end of 2016, looking at elective care um, with the referrals to consultants. We looked at emergency admissions and prescribing. Uh, the widest variation was in elective referrals. And out of that, we came up with the peer review, consultant feedback and use of specific referral criteria uh, as our plan of action. From January onwards, we started with weekly meetings uh, within small groups of practices uh, designed to be around 30,000 patients uh, put together. Um, certainly in my group, we were meeting weekly and reading through all of the consultant referral letters uh, and that continued for the three months. Um, leading up to this, there was a lot of practice engagement um, to explain the reasons why we're doing the peer review to reduce variation and look at the benchmark referral rates within the county. Practically, uh, it took time away from patients, so uh, that was there was a bit of resistance to start with, but once the meetings started, people could see the benefits for patients and the benefits for practices quite quickly. They, they would get confused if they go to Dr A and have one procedure or referral done and go to a different doctor and have a totally different procedure or referral done. So reducing unwarranted variation um, is, a, is a good aim. Um, peer review is a very useful way of doing this. So there was a frank um, discussion between the clinicians in the room, as in, why did you do that? Why didn't you do this? Could we have done something else? Um, for patients, the variation that was unwarranted was reduced, so um, of the referrals that we looked at, most did go through to the consultants as planned, um, but a number of different routes were, were noted that we could do differently, and patients were contacted as the different outcomes were, uh, were decided. Um, there's a lot of, uh, well, a number of referrals for abnormal blood results uh, that go off, and certainly we redirected a few to advice and guidance, um, which is the written advice and guidance, or we have Consultant Connect in the area where you can ring up and ask for uh, a dialogue with a consultant, which is quicker, so the patients get a, a response quicker than waiting 18 weeks or more to be seen in outpatients. The short-term benefits are for the patients that, that you're um, managing, so uh, you're getting quicker treatment often if you're referring to a community service than a hospital service, um, and often you're not referring at all if you've had a, different ideas for working up abnormal blood tests, um, so the patient doesn't have the anxiety of waiting for an outpatient appointment, which may again be put back and put back. Um, personally, I, I've found it very useful to connect with the neighbouring practices. There's a couple who I had never been to uh, and didn't know very well. Um, so actually building up trust and a relationship with uh, your neighbourhood practices was very useful. Um, and that wasn't the intended, there wasn't the intention to build up neighbourhoods, um, but that's the consequence of it. So um, we're starting multidisciplinary team meetings for social care coming in as well in the community district nurse team. Um, we're looking at redesigning specific uh, care pathways in our locality, such as diabetes. Um, so it's really quite exciting, the follow-on effects that have come from getting together in a room and talking about referrals. For some time, we've had the ability to refer to other GPs within other practices for minor surgery specifically. Um, and actually getting in a room and talking over the scope of the clinicians in the other uh, practices has certainly given us the confidence to refer to them and we're seeing a lot more of our patients going there rather than the hospital. And certainly we've seen a 12% reduction in outpatient GP referrals to the hospital uh, with a corresponding reduction in their first outpatient letters they're receiving. Um, other specialties we're focused on like trauma orthopaedic has seen a bigger drop 
Uh, but that's not to say patients aren't being seen, they're just being seen in different settings. Um, and we've had a reduction in the independent sector use as well. Uh, I think partly because more is being done in primary care.